Okay, this is a LM2596 DC to DC step down voltage regulator. See, I have connected the voltage into my 12 volts battery power and uh, the voltage out I connected it to my voltmeter here so and I'm gonna step it down to something lower I think it's clockwise and you can see I turn this thing down the voltage is not changing so I think this is a defective defective uh, voltage regulator See, it didn't change it. The voltage didn't even change. Okay, very good. Um, I connected this to 12 volts, and I just turned this knob clockwise. Clockwise is the way to go. So now you can see it's down to 6.15 volts. And this is, I bought two of them. The regulator is LM2596, step down, DC to DC voltage. So you can see it's uh, 6.15 volts. And it's uh, counterclockwise. Let me show you counterclockwise. I think this can go all the way down to see that. See that? I'm doing counterclockwise. This can go all the way down to 4.6a. Four volts, 4.1 volts. So I'm gonna step it up back up to six volts for my servo motor. I need it to turn clockwise to go up to 6 volts. Now that's 6.19 volts. So I'm gonna six point oh one volts. That's the one I need. Six volts. See? So this regulator doing six votes you can see six votes so this is the LM2596 so now this one is six votes and that's I'm pretty happy about it six votes check this one um, right now it's step down from 12 votes to six votes and I'm going to check this one to step it down to three volts. That's the way to um, do my project. Okay, this is the LM2596 voltage step down regulator. And I'm going, as you can see, I hook up the 12 volts battery in my voltmeter. It's 12106. So I'm going to turn this knob counterclockwise and hopefully I'll be able to get down to get down to nine votes doing counterclockwise Okay, good, good. It's turning. 942, 
nine nine votes. That's pretty good. It's nine votes, nine oh four. Nine oh one. Nine. There you go. So this one is now nine votes. And I'm done. Jumped around a little bit, but uh, this is good. Nine votes.